Creationism whispers of divine hands shaping everything that exists. Some believe that gods breathe life into us, while others think that higher beings of wisdom sculpted our essence. Imagine the allure of creation, whether it's through ancient myths, the crafting of tools, or the crackling fires of machines. Even you, a seemingly ordinary soul, hold the power to conjure wonders with your gifted hands. Whether it's the delicate strokes of a paintbrush or the intricate world building of games, your creativity knows no bounds but the edges of your imagination. I find myself curious, how did this enigmatic species come to be? I can only imagine the thrill. What can I say? This species has the looks but no personality. Why do I say that? Well, not only is its design similar to that of Frankenstein, different body parts stitched together, it doesn't seem to convey any sort of uniqueness to it. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! I will admit, not every species have the consistency to look presentable or to show any characteristics. However, this species being so unique with so many skills up its scaly sleeves, you'd assume at least something from it. Take Korodaz, it's a large lumping flesh that convey the idea of fearless and determined. The Boreal Warden, elegant and prestige. Arakiu, quiet and lurking. But for Zelavaprex, weird name by the way, shows no sort of personality. It's just a glass cannon species you know you can use for cosing, but it's so empty. It's unique in a sense they are forcing everything on it, but nothing special of it. The design feels messy and everything about it feels like it doesn't belong with it. To be specific, it has too much going on. The multiple appendages shows a cool visual but it makes no sense to have them other than decorations. The ones on their head even feels like it was accidentally added during production. The wings feel excessive. The claws on it makes it seem like they were really going all in to make this a cool species for a certain standard. I don't think anyone but people who've watched too much anime can find this amusing. Even then I can still forgive everything except the snout, it is annoyingly short and stubby. Someone actually edited it and I think it looks far superior. I just don't like how diverse it is, because then it loses its individuality. I love the serpent-like body with lizard-like legs. The teen version of the species should be perfect for me. Moving on to the description. Zeleviprex is a large and ominous creature that lurks in the darkest areas of Sonaria. These beasts, despite their size, are extremely flexible, quick to react, and can pack a painfully venomous bite. The spikes along their body and mandibles help protect itself from danger, and its wide shake helps it move through the water. It is fairly well made and I would say this is straightforward. It's not a bad job at it so I don't have anything to say on that part. Let's move on to its animations. The ideal is lively, I can respect that. The sitting isn't quite special, just sort of slid forward. The sleeping is what really got me. I love it very much because it now looks more serpent-like or at least a centipede. The aggro looks beautiful, I would genuinely run away from that thing. The cower is nothing special. 
The mud roll is gorgeous, another reminder that it's a snake. The walking is like a lizard, very neat. The running is like an angry alligator so I can appreciate that too. The flying is also nothing special but it's still done well. The eating is slightly boring and his drinking is just shoving his face into the water. However, the best one of them all has to be the attack. I do not credit this enough but it is beautiful. It used its anatomy to fully showcase its lethalness in combat. The swimming is so well made, I love how its limbs are positioned. I think that's all the animations, and most of them were done right. Did I mention that it's also an absolute powerhouse, breadth, all-terrain, crazy abilities, passive and active. One special, new ability specifically for it too. It's a glass cannon with broken stats and hitboxes. Fix it and do not buy it.